What's going on? Today I am super stoked because Apple is just after releasing new products. Let's get all into what they've announced and what we can expect from these. Oh my god, let's start off with the new MacBook Air as posted about by Renee Ritchie here just there a second ago. So yeah, the MacBook Air, the it's been updated with the scissor key mechanism, the new Mac, um, scissor key mechanism that was there. Gorgeous display on the MacBook Air as per usual, you know yourself. And some really interesting things are after happening with the iPad Pro. I'm really excited about this. This is the main thing that I'm really stoked about. And you can see I'm really psyched about this. So. I'm going to go through this and just see what it is. This is the Apple Newsroom post that they released. So, Apple unveiled the new iPad Pro with break to LiDAR sensor and brings the trackpad support to iPadOS. This is big. This is very big. So, as well as adding a trackpad to the iPad, they redesigned the keyboard entirely to make it more functional than ever before. The iPad, um, it has a scissor key mechanism now. It has a keyboard, uh, it has a trackpad, and it has a backlit display. It's amazing. It has a triple camera setup, which we did not expect before. Um, it has pro performance with the A12Z Bionic processor, not 12X Bionic processor like before, A12Z Bionic processor, which is incredible, not gonna lie. And you could do so much. So it has neural, it has the neural engine, it has all that. It has Wi-Fi 6 enabled, it is uh, LTE, uh, more things, it is a pro display so it's the liquid retina display it's still an 11 inch and 12.9 inches it features the p3 color gamut up to 120 hertz display uh, true tone as per usual now this is the main thing that i am so psyched about the pro cameras oh my god oh my god the pro cameras are amazing on this thing uh, it features a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera the same that's on the iphone um, is the main uh, sensor is the hundred and is the ten megapixel ultra wide as well. Same that's on the iPhone, so you can do lots of things. Uh, you can there's also the uh, fact that there's the lidar scanner. This lidar scanner uh, measures the distance between surrounding objects, and it it is enhanced by the A twelve Z Bionic. For more detailed understanding of a scene, tight integration of these elements and a whole new class of AR experiences for iPad Pro. Some of the things, so it can measure distances, all that, and it, you can 3D really scan objects to make it really cool. The trackpad support is there and it's and the iPad OS 13.4, which will probably be released today, will give it that. It has an actual cursor in it. And then collaboration with iCloud's easier. You still have support for your older Apple Pencil. I just love it so much. It is amazing the fact that, you know, I'm just, oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. I love this. Sorry for the interruption here, but they just announced a new Mac Mini as well. And I didn't want to do it a separate video because, oh God, the focus on this thing is horrible now. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to do a separate video because it makes more sense to do it all in one video. Um, but basically, the new Mac Mini, it starts at 799 euros, or dollars, depending on your persuasion. Um, with 256 gigs of internal storage, while the 1099 configuration comes with 512 storage, and every Mac Mini is made of 100% recycled aluminum. Am I over exaggerating? That's the question. Am I over exaggerating with this? No. I think that this is fantastic. You get your large display, you get all that. By the way, your old cases for the old iPad Pros, they don't work anymore. 
and I think it is a good opportunity for anyone with like me with a 2017 iPad uh, could be a good opportunity to update I don't know let me know what you think in the comment section below I'll catch you next one